Tonight from the Target 12 investigators, pop by the numbers. We have the statistics from two state departments tied to the growing medical marijuana industry. And the bottom line is growth is off the charts. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau shares what we've uncovered. Medical marijuana was legalized in 2006, but it's only been two years since major regulation changes industrialized cultivation. There are now more than two dozen large-scale active growing operations in Rhode Island licensed by the Department of Business Regulation. Another 50 approved applicants are finalizing their operations with tens of millions of dollars in potential business waiting for them. At the end of 2017, the state recorded just over $28 million in sales. By the end of last year, total sales climbed by about 36% to more than $38 million. And the projection for the end of this year is more than $52 million in sales, a 37% increase. The state's cut includes a surcharge paid by the compassion centers and sales tax paid by the consumers. In 2017, the state received a total of just over $3.1 million. In 2018, that revenue was up by 36 percent, rising to just over $4.2 million. Target 12 also tracked down some numbers from the Department of Health. By the end of 2017, there were 28,000 registered medical marijuana users. Last year, a 21% climb to more than 34,000 users. More patients added to what the Department of Health collects in applications, renewals, and other fees. Just over a half million dollars paid by consumers in 2017 grew by a stunning 81% last year to more than $900,000. As far as the total amount of pot the state is growing, in 2017, the state's licensed cultivators grew more than 10,000 pounds of pot. Last year, a 58% jump with nearly 16,000 pounds of the drug harvested. One more number for you, 11.5. That's the total number of acres of marijuana that would be growing in Rhode Island if all the approved applicants reach their legal growing capacity. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.